Okay guys, so we're back with another quick unboxing uh, of these really unusual shoes, which is a collaboration between uh, Bodega and Nike, well, specifically the Nike Dunk. And the colorway is Fauna Brown. Uh, and I got a UK 10 true to size. I find Dunks uh, fit a bit snug on me, especially the high Dunks. So I went for a true to size, so that's what I recommend. And you get this lovely bandana, which is probably suitable for now because I'll probably use it as a face cover uh, to cover up like surgical mask because maybe that's, you know, it's a look that I don't personally want to go with. So a nice face cover or something to wear or hang up. So that's really nice. So you've got the Bodega Rose with Nike. Uh, it's, I think it's all it's printed anyway. Yeah, it's printed. It's not like stitched or anything. So it's a nice little um, gift or addition that they add to the to the shoes so that's really nice 2006 for the bodega and 1972 for nike so that's really nice so you get a bandana included with it and that's really cool look at a special paper you've got a bodega and a nike printed on the on the paper all over but you do get the additional inside one which i kind of tore up already and here they are let me get them out <clears throat> And you get some additional laces, which I'll talk about in a second. But here they are, guys. So that, that brown colorway, uh, it's, it seems all brown all over with black, different shades of brown. You've got that kind of coffee, lighter brown here. And this is a lovely, I want to say suede, but it's even rougher than that. It's almost like this this kind of worn new buck. But yeah, no, I, I'd say suede. You get this different smoother suede of a darker brown at the toe box. This really kind of thick raw leather on the on the heel part there, and another and a bit of a beige softer leather, very similar to this one at the front for the for the ankle support inside. Leather lining, yeah, leather lining with a nylon further in, leather tongue with that tortoise shell looking uh, tag with red. With the red Nike logo, but the inside of the tongue, you get the bodega. So that's really nice, really nice detailing. Let's have a look at the inside. It says, yeah, it's got that kind of same as the, if you can see that. Same as the wrapping bodega at Nike. Insole comes out, it comes out quite easily, so that's nice. An unusual thing about the shoe is the stitching. You get this kind of Stitching, which apparently resembles like a baseball glove, which might have been the support. This is a bit hit and miss for me. And I know for some people as well, they weren't a massive fan of the stitching. In fact, they go as far to say it's trash. But no, I actually quite appreciate the uniqueness of it. Um, and instead of a larger swoosh, they went for that dual rubberized uh, tortoiseshell tiger print, tiger kind of pattern rubberized. It's, it's rubberized um, swoosh. So that's really nice. Um, the, the laces themselves, which I said they come with a different pair, the ones that come uh, factory set or boxed is this is these wax, wax fat laces, as you can see there. They are waxed. I haven't tried lacing them up yet, so I wonder if it's going to be smooth enough to go through the holes quite easily. But they also come with these, what are they, like square, square looking leather laces. So that's a different touch. It's obviously the same as the ones here, if you wanted to put it through through there. I'm not too sure. I probably won't be able to tell the difference, really, because they're both black, but I'll probably just keep with the flat laces. And then I like re I really like the, the gum bottoms, but they're translucent gum. So that's a really nice added touch. Bodega do such good collaborations. I've seen the ones that are like Asics, New Balance, and, you know, lots of other ones. I think they've done more with Nike. I'm not a massive expert, I'm afraid, on the Bodega Nike collaborations, but what I've seen when I Googled some different models, they do, they just go all out. Like little details like this stitching. Just kind of like triple stitching on the toe box and on the ankle heel, heel compartment there. It's really, really nice. Really nice. So on the medial side, you've got a bodega. Um, it's not, it's not, it's kind of imprinted there because it's, uh, it's, it goes inwards. So it's like kind of stamped. So that's really, really cool. And it's subtle enough that, you know, you know, it's not too obvious that it's Bodega. So yeah, inside on the tongue, you've also got that stitching of like these funny 
diamond oval type shape so it's really nice the details the thought that's gone into this like the anchor support at the top with that stitching it's they've just gone above and beyond just to really uh pull out this very unique design and i do like it personally and i think the color scheme the brown color scheme with the black and the beige works so well um it's very it kind of reminds me of the mochas uh kind of reminds me of <clears throat> like a if conan a barbarian or like some kind of Norse god put together a, a night dunk. This is kind of what it would look like with that kind of raw look. And even the colour of it, it's kind of like it's been dusted a bit, you know? Like you have the beige and the browns. It's like they threw flour all over it, dusted it a bit, and it comes out a bit, a, a little bit dusty. So I like it. It's a really nice, uh, really nice execution of a shoe. Um, I'm definitely going to wear these. I'm definitely going to... Um, rock them around because you know especially it's winter here not that I'm going anywhere now because it's COVID but this is such a nice shoe such a good execution so I do highly recommend it um, the the, the uh, retail price on these I believe 120 I don't know if anywhere in the UK sold them these came straight from Bodega from the States so they took a while to come and with the whole Brexit and COVID stuff there was some delays in it um, so I think it, I think it was like $165 including uh, postage postage is like $45 you know and then you might pay some uh, tax on top of it or, or I think it may all be included but yeah I think the resale on these aren't even that high either um, so yeah it's, I, I personally recommend it if you like it go for it because the quality of these and the execution is, is really good and I'm going to try them on feet now and I'll leave you with an on foot shot uh, and uh, please subscribe please uh, give me a like and any comments and I'll see you next time guys yeah, yeah, you better watch out, I'm gon' make it rain Chai ta ba bo, yeah, wa ha ba bo, yeah Wa nga ha go, yeah, brush you down Right, guys, the last thing I wanted to show you that is pretty rad inside the tongue. Uh, hidden, it says, let me see, let's get this in the camera. Hidden in plain sight, and that's really cool. And it's not really hidden in plain sight because you've got this little pocket in here, this little velcro pocket that you can stick your keys, coins, whatever you want. And I guess if you were playing basketball, you might want to put some little bits and pieces in there. And I believe it's in both the shoes. Hidden in plain sight. Boom. That's a really, really cool. That's a really, really cool touch. And it goes all the way down. Hence why I guess I just noticed that that beige stops pretty high up. It's rather than down there. I don't know if it usually does. I can't remember if it does. And then it has the brown starting from there because that is pretty much the whole pocket. So that's really cool, guys. That alone, you know, little stash away pocket in your in your shoes. And also, the third lace, which I found stuffed inside, is just your plain black laces. Um, and having to having to put these on, these aren't so, you know, easy to, to you know, because of the wax, there is a bit of friction there, basically. So it's not that smooth pulling through, but the look is much better. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that, that pocket in the tongue, because I thought that was pretty cool. I felt on my foot, oh, something there. Lo and behold... There is. And that's such a wicked little detail, isn't it? Anyway, guys, take care. Cheers.